Hi, I'm here to talk about the QuickBooks integration with WooCommerce and I have a WooCommerce page here. Uh, I've got QuickBooks open. I'll start a new company file to make sure I'm not cheating. I've got the QuickBooks integration setup instructions and the list of my items currently in WooCommerce that I'd need to import into QuickBooks. So first things first, let me go ahead and create a new company file. Um, just go express start and I'll put the JSON. Industry is, um, let's say I am a retail shop, um, sole proprietor, and I'll just create the company file right here. It shouldn't take too long. And there we go. Um, let me take a, take a look at the required QuickBooks accounts. These five are, these six actually, are required QuickBooks accounts that I must have. So let's just start working here and close the quick center. Let me go to my chart of accounts. I'll have an income account. Okay, I've got a sales account. I need a COGS account. Hmm, merchant account fees. Let me just create a new COGS account. Cost of goods sold. And oops, okay, 5200 random number and COGS. Just for the sake of creating the account. A deposit account? Do I have one? Not yet. So let me create a new um, bank account. Configure that and let me say Bank of America. And save and the account number. I'll put number one. And no, I will not set up online for this purpose. An asset account um, for my inventory. Let me go ahead and create one. Other account type. Other current asset and um, inventory on hand. And let me create that here account receivable account receivable and an expense account um, I think this is for shipping do I have shipping? no I don't uh, shipping expense Okay, there we go. And I have to have several QuickBooks items, sales tax items. So for each sales tax item on my website, okay, I don't, I don't think I have any sales tax items here. Let me just check real quick. I do not have any. Here and let me check the nope, I didn't create any. Um, I'll just create one in my item list. Again, and let's put it for 
Virginia has a rate of 6%. Account, uh, okay. Oops, no service. I did not enable sales tax. Let me quickly enable sales tax here. Most add sales tax item. Let's put in Virginia. And put sales tax Virginia. Tax rate 6%. Uh, okay. Oh, the agency. Um, let me add new and put tax agency. Okay, the most common would be Virginia. Um, I'm not making taxable by default. Uh, I will not save that. And we'll go back home. Where were we? Uh, payment method. Let me go to my list of payment methods. And cash, check, debit card. Let me add a new one. Um, and electronic funds transfer. And let's say it's a uh, check. Okay. Shipping item. Okay. Um, so let me check WooCommerce. Let me see which shipping classes we have here. There's none, um, but. Settings and here's taxes. Look, there's no tax, as I saw earlier. Shipping, we have flat rate, free, international, local, and um, local delivery, local pickup. Where did it ship? Charge shipping, let me create a shipping item. And it has to be an other charge. There we go. So I'm going to go to my item list and create a new item. Um, other charge. Ship one. And let me say it's local shipping. And um, I'll put it as part of the sales. Other charge. Ship two. International shipping. And the 20 part of sales. Okay, so we have those. We have all the requirements. Now let me go ahead into WooCommerce. Go to my QuickBooks panel. Uh, and these accounts are with another company file. So to make sure I have it synced to this new company file. Let me first open up my web connector. Let me remove this. This is with the previous company file. Oh, I have to open up the. Give me a moment here. Let me open up this company file first so I can remove the web connector. Okay. Freezing. You cannot freeze on me. 